Hey YouTube, Opinionated Review here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.4 and iOS 4.2.9 for the Verizon iPhone with Red Snow 0.9.8 B3. Now this is a tethered jailbreak, so you're going to have to use Red Snow to boot tethered anytime your battery dies, your phone turns off, or you reboot your iDevice. Now there's nothing new in iOS 4.3.4 and iOS 4.2.9, it just patches jailbreakme.com. So I advise you guys not to update. This jailbreak is mostly focused for the people that just bought a new iDevice because most likely it's going to get shipped with the new firmware. And for the people that upgraded by mistake and did not save their SHSH blobs, even though we preach that in the jailbreak community. I'm going to do an untethered jailbreak as soon as it comes out, whenever that is. We're not sure whenever that's going to be based on some tweets. But, let's get into the process. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is go to this website and download your IP, your custom IPSW. I'm using my iPod Touch 4th Gen, so I'm, I download that. Then you're going to need to download Red Snow, all the links in the description, and a tut full written tutorial. So first thing you're going to do is right click Red Snow, click properties, click compatibility, check off run this program in compatibility mode 4, Windows Service Pack 2, run this program as an administrator, hit apply and then click OK. Then you're going to run Red Snow. And you're going to browse for that same custom IPSW form. Make sure it's on your desktop or someplace you can easily find it. After Red Snow identifies, we're going to click next. Make sure that install CDA is checked off. I'm on my iPod Touch, so I do enable battery percentage and multitasking gestures. So just click next. Now we're going to get ready to put our iDevice into DFU mode. You're going to hold a power button for 3 seconds, hold the power and the home button for 10 seconds, release the power button, keep on holding the home button for 15 seconds or until Red Snow recognizes your iDevice. We don't have to click next, we're just going to do it right here, so let's go. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, release. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Red Snow recognized the iDevice. So now that Red Snow is working, it's magic. I'm going to come back when Red Snow is finished. So now that Red Snow is finished, you're going to realize that your Cydia and your Safari is crashing. That's normal with a Tether jailbreak. Don't worry about it. What you're going to do is re run Red Snow again. Now you're gonna click, you're gonna browse for that same firmware, your 4.3.4 firmware or the 4.2.9. Let's know identify, click next. Now the only thing we're going to check is just boot tethered right now and that's it. Then we're going to click next and we're going to put our iDevice in to DFU mode again. So let's go. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Red Snow recognized, so we release. And Red Snow is going to work its magic and boot it up tethered. I'm going to come back when it's finished again. So now that Red Snow is finished, your Cydia and your Safari should now load like normal. And remember, the jailbreak is tethered, so every time you reboot, you turn off your phone or your battery dies, you're going to have to boot tethered in order to get Safari and see their work and you know, sometimes your phone just doesn't boot. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.